Would you look at that level right there? 5,000. 970 fucking kinesis in my goddamn map. You better get the fuck out there before I blast your motherfucking ass. Over here. 5,972. Technically, we'll be done at level 128. But that's not gonna put us at S rank. He's just putting fucking balls up in the air and... Okay. What is up, guys? This is Kobe here. It's a day... I'm gonna be finally leveling up to 141 and concluding the leveling for maybe around two to three months. So this is the last leveling episode for- You don't just grab the motherfuck- Hold up. It's hard to find burning maps as good as those. I'm glad, you know, I finally found one again. And just like the comments said, uh, you know, took some requests. Maple Warriors are part of the buff cycle. I don't know how I forgot that, don't ask. But we're gonna go ahead and- you know, check out the skills a little bit more. We, we still have piercing and snipe down there. I'm not... Well, okay, I'm just going to be leveling up, you know, expert in some other passes or whatnot. I have three level 20 books and a level 30 book. So, I'll probably use level 30 book on expert since it does give crit damage. Um, in whatever these skills are. And plus, you know, mid damage mastery too. That's something I really need as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to be doing this. So, we're going to be training against... A little bit more um this map is cursed right now by a rune so i have to find out where the hell the rune is there it is right there profession in the way we go ahead and activate this guy rune there we go all right perfect and let's just check it out so as you guys can tell like i said from the last episode i'm not a big fan of skills that just have some weird um you know damage ranges and piercing is you know definitely one of them i don't like piercing's concept that much but it's actually, you know, it seems like a really, really fast skill as well. And for me to be doing damage like this after I, um, you know, geared up a little bit before I started this episode, it's uh, kind of unsettling. But then again, um, you know, the final damage increases. I don't know. It just seems like this works in, like, re reverse. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I'm only hitting, like, what, 80Ks? On the first mob, and I get it up to like 200k if I sh hit more mobs. Wow, this burning just went down to 60 like that. That's stupid. Um, but I feel like I'm just gonna have to get used to for a job more once I hit around 110 or so. I could talk to you guys more about it, go over you know the passive skills, and talk about what they do because I am gonna be leveling those up as well, other than just the plain uh mastery, so I can actually talk about that a little bit more. But yeah, that's basically how I'm going to, you know, keep this rolling and whatnot. And I will get to you guys back in a bit. So I hit level 110, getting more of a feeling with the class. I'm actually kind of feeling a little bit more comfortable with it. Although, huge flaws for this class, especially for me as a Dark Knight melee ass main. Your damage increases uh, depending on how far you are from monsters. I can't live with that. <laughs> I can't live with that at all. I'm no, um... You know, far range class main on this game at all. Um, that really depends on, you know, this skill as well. This is like defense break. The further you are from monsters, the lower the defenses will be. And then I know this skill increases the lines of uh, snipe, which I thought was a hyper skill, but I guess not. Um, unless I am missing something. i um, missing something. And piercing as well. Piercing does do five lines of damage now. Uh, so that's also really, really nice to have. And these two skills, well, okay, they are expert. And then this skill. I believe this is another distance release. I, I've already forgot what the hell it does. I just like to go through the passes first. But I believe... Oh, wait. Last man standing. Um, Basically, if there is an in there, if there's an enemy that's alone within, you know, a certain amount of distance, your final damage increases on about 20%. Basically, that's how it works. I'm pretty... I think that's how it is for bosses as well. So, that'd be really, 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 really nice for bossing ability. Um, for, you know, a marksman's bossing ability. Which is probably why they're one of the best bosses in the game uh, as of now. Uh, well, don't really quote me on that, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, so, I guess without further ado, I'm pretty much done here at Kent's. I'll show more of some gameplay. Ooh, I got equipment to equip as well. I'll show more of some gameplay here at uh, Dual Ghost Pirates. Okay, 54k range. Loving it, loving it. Okay. And, yeah. I'll be there right now. Somebody was asking how to get to dual ghost pirates in the comments. I already answered his question, but I'll just literally show him how he do it. Uh, so you go to Ludibria, right? Uh, that's, you know, up here. You go down to Clock Tower. If you're level 110, there is a Maple Guide stamp that will automatically take you there, which is this right here. So if you just click on it, you're, 
you end up here exactly where I am right now so you go down on this portal go in the portal in here um, go down that teleporter they just uh, make sure you see this teleporter right here make sure you go to the bottom go into the portal in here as well and then you're at ghost pirates now do ghost pirates is this portal right here uh, right to the left of ghost pirates and here you are no ghost pirates so it's time to test some action in here really looking forward to how this is going to turn out and yeah 54k range you know same as usual so of course I one shot the mobs that are you know far away because I'm already hitting so many as I uh as the piercing goes through but without that I'm around four shotting um a little bit slower than my Corsair, of course, since, you know, my Corsair by level 120 could one-shot. But then again, we'll see what I what I can do at level 120 as well. But I believe Piercing can one-shot. If, well, okay, maybe it can't one-shot yet, but it's super close to doing it. Uh, piercing can one-shot if it's, you know, if it hits a shit ton of monsters before it hits the last enemy. Well, that's really about it. Um, but it's okay though, because piercing seems to work really fine. I'm not really keeping my distance against monsters because, hey, yeah, I don't really give a shit about that. Uh, but regarding skills, not only do I want to get this to level 30 as well, I completely forgot about sharp eyes. Fucking crit rate and crit damage. Tell me who doesn't want that. I believe it's like 20 crit rate and 15 crit damage. Please, please. Sharp eyes is where it's at. That's crit. <laughs> How did I forget about sharp eyes, man? It's time to get back to work. So as of reaching level 128, I've done it. I'm bait fucking using it here. Okay, I'll show you guys towards the end of the video then. Uh, but I've done it. I'm at 6,002 uh, total level. So I'm eligible for Master 2, but I can't rank up because I still don't have enough coins. I need like 200 more or something around there. Um, but yeah, I'm not technically done. Because I still need to level up this character 11 more times for um, for it to be a, not only having the S rank, but a dojo meal as well. A lot of people have been asking me why the hell I'm getting characters 141. I did make a video about dojo. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to know more about it. Um, but yeah, I hit 6k. Um, so the level business is at the way. So once I level this character 11 more times, we are done, set, ready to go for the summer. And I'm, I'm pumped up for it, man. And I'm going to have one last video just probably showing you guys how I do the grid because I usually cut that out because it takes a lot of time and frustration. But I might as well just leave it in there, see if I can get it done pretty fast. But yeah, I'm just here waiting for MVP buff. They said... Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now that that's used, I have my bishop right here with white. I don't even know why there's a fucking... Nah, I'm just fighting here anyway. Um... 
Yeah, I got my bishop. Got the buffs. We're ready to go. We're just going to rush through these levels as fast as we can. We'll see our maximum range as well. We're going to use each and every single one of my attack buffs. And boom. Oh my god. Hold up. <laughs> Goodness, man. This is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, I've actually grown to like this class just a little bit more because of, um, I guess, the lower damage on piercing and whatnot. Um, I've, I'm actually, you know, getting a little bit stronger. And then, you know, of course the final damage boost on piercing still pisses me the hell off, right? But it's, you know, something that I'm slowly getting used to. Won't be used for, to it once I'm done with this class and I come back. It's probably going to piss me off when I come back, but... It's actually something that, that I can live with now. Something that I'm, you know, slightly okay with. But yeah, that's pretty much marksman for y'all. So without further ado, I guess let's go ahead and time to finish this goddamn class once and for all. This actually feels like one of the most satisfying feelings, man. I'm done grinding, pretty much. I I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> like, basically, well, I'm done grinding on mules for a while. I mean, I'm not technically done because, you know, like I said, the series is called Roto Grandmaster, and I Roto Master 2. The fuck? We're still gonna be back to it, though, um, you know, within a couple months. But anyway, let's get this monster park run in. I want to talk more about Marksman for a little bit. Um,. I've developed somewhat of a tiny liking to it, not as much as Corsair though. Corsair was just beyond my, no, <laughs> Corsair is so much better than Marksman, or at least for now while I've tested it out. I can't really compare them both yet because, I mean, of course, they're both not fit job. A fit job really does involve some, you know, completely new types of, uh, well, okay. Like they said, fit job doesn't necessarily change, change up the gameplay too much, but the two fit job skills that they get uh, kind of do change it up just a little bit. Especially marksmen's, where the first fit job skill they get, you actually have to click on monsters. <laughs> you like, you just get in that um, get in that sniping mode, and you just click on them in order to do a shit ton of damage. And then the second one, I believe it's sort of like a um, a buff where you just have this huge, you know, damage effect that um, happens every few times you hit. Don't necessarily know too much about it. And then as for Corsair, the first one, Bullet Party. Oh, well, Bullet Party looks fun as hell to use. Um, and then, I mean, I'm not really sure how Bullet Party, how good Bullet Party is for bossing, but uh, and then they have that second job skill, which I actually don't even have too much info about, but I believe it's somewhat of an Overwatch reference, and I don't really play Overwatch, but it's, um, you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, Marksman, yeah, they're strong as hell. Especially, oh wait, Hyper Skills. Snipe. 143, so they really decrease the level of that shit. I don't know if it's the same with GMS. I think it's like 149 or something, because GMS and KMS have different Hyper Skill levels, um, you know, where you unlock them at, which I believe is just the dumbest thing that they've ever done. Like, what's the need to just swap around all these Hyper Skill levels for? Like, I look at my Dark Knight Hyper Skill uh, levels in GMS, and I'm just looking at it like, this doesn't make any sense. Why Why, why is it like that? Mm. That solid one snipe, uh, one, one, one snipe, one shot with snipe. Uh, good shit, level 141. So, you know, basically we're done. But yeah, um, getting this class to level 200 is, you know, somewhat pretty ridiculous. Because uh, these three seem to be really worth it. I'm not really sure piercing. This increases the attack lines by one. 
20% damage, sharp eyes, crit rate. Mm, I don't know. I don't even know how hypers work for this skill. I mean, this class. And then this skill is weird as hell. I don't even know if people actually use this hyper skill. Um, but it's like another, I guess, straight line bullet arrow something. Hits 1,350% damage two times. Seems pretty good for mobbing, but hey, I wouldn't know. And this is the best hyper for phantoms to steal. Because like 20 crit rate, 10 crit damage, 20 damage, 20 ID, please, come on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk about for Marxists right now. I hope I got a little, you know, information out there for those who want to try it out at Fort Job. Um, you know, first three, four job. I actually have, I actually put some points in this skill as well. This gives 20 decks at level 10. So 40 decks at level 30. But it is what it is. Just slap all these points in here. 87k range without all the buffs that I had before. Let's actually take off the guild buff too. Um, so we're basically at 83k range self buffed. Versus the somewhat around, well, I'd be like 103k range if I was, um, fully buffed with all the other buffs that I used when I was training, but, um, you know, really nice range improvement, but it's just, it's whatever, it's, it's not my actual range, right, so 83k range, so time to look at what I've been wanting to look at all fucking time, all the damn, so, oh my god, look at it, 6,013, we did it, we did it, it's, it's gone, um, any of these useless, no, nah. Uh, what's something that I don't really need right now? Because I could definitely use that crit rate in my possession. Um, Dawn Warrior. I don't fucking need Dawn Warrior. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and take off Dawn Warrior because it's only a thousand HP. Over my Dark Knight's what, fifty something thousand? Because I know some people like to think that Dark Knight's health. Um, I mean Dark Knight's damage is based on you know how much health they have, but no, it's not. They're not Demon Avengers. It's based on their maximum HP percentage thanks to cross surge and even that you know this isn't really too much relying on it anymore because the buff got nerfed from 80% to 20% while there is a 50% passive to it which you know because of final damage it's multiplicative with the 50% and 20% so that's you know equal to 80% again anyway I'm getting off topic but yeah yeah we have it I got that 3% crit ratio on it straight on the board I know this might you know mess you guys up a little bit since I am covering two slots with a uh three piece tetris piece and uh, another two slots with another three piece but hey we're getting when i say three piece i'm not talking about chicken okay um and then once we, you know put that on there it's all good i'm gonna be able to redo it once i reach master union 2 and mm, i can't wait i need like two more days i believe in order to have enough coins maybe one i might get it tomorrow who the hell knows um tomorrow night maybe oh shit that'd be awesome as fuck uh, but yeah, that's it. I'm done. Next episode will be the last for a while. I'm not technically done, but I'm done for now. Thank you guys so much for watching all the episodes if you have. Thank you for watching this one even. Um, really do appreciate it. I loved all the support that I was getting through the videos. All the uh, positive feedback. Seems like you guys enjoyed this type of uh, style when it comes to... Um, you know, instead of just power leveling a class, class straight through, not talking about it, I actually, you know, give some in-depth thoughts about the class, you know, my thoughts about it, and, you know, honest with it too, <laughs> take shade for example, but yeah, that's it, next episode's the last, for now, once again, we'll be back, thank you all for watching, really do appreciate it, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, that is if you want to, and I'll be bringing back some more great content to you guys later, peace out everybody.